Previously on the Atherton Project. My neighbour's Mick X dance. Gonna take us out for a day, show us what's what. <laughs> this is the worst idea we've ever had. We're in the breath. Big dog's coming. Max Commissar's here this weekend. If anyone wants to learn how to dislocate their shoulder, come to me. Shoulder like this? Yes, they mean breath. Really beautiful, right? Really. Val de Sol, Italy. Last round of the World Cup series. Goal is to, um, you know, press on, try and push for a good result. You know, it's not like I need to, you know, be super protective of that third place. It's, you know, if I lose it, it's not the end of the world. Treat it as an individual event. You know, not thinking of uh, points really. First day of practice, Val de Sol, Valley of the Sun. Living up to its name, it's half nine. It's about 100 million degrees. Pretty weird. Last time I crossed the finish line down there, I was world champion. It felt good. And a lot has changed since then. Three years ago, G's done a run. It says it's very rough and very difficult. So. Well, still sitting third overall, which is surprising since I missed qualifying in the breast. I think I would just like to hold on to that position, you know. I would obviously like to win, but I think I'd be real happy with the top three. Everyone's strong and it's a hell of a long track. Yeah, the championship's not really uh, something on anyone's mind anymore, so... Just racing it like an individual event, you know? Yeah, it's definitely a track I enjoy. You know, I've had good results here in the past, but I think last year showed, you know, if you're not ready for your race run and you don't put absolutely everything on the line on this track, then... You know, that all counts for nothing, really. You do have to push pretty hard on this track. Pretty nervous. Most nervous I've been at a World Cup for a long time. Yeah, going up for qualifying run and I'm, I am pretty nervous. Oh. Oh. I guess that's how you deal with the heat. I don't think it's been mental like we've had full clothes on. Rough and gnarly and hot and dusty. Proper taxi. But I'm uh, feeling good. I'm feeling it. No, my arms were just like girls' arms down there. It's like I was hanging on like that. Sitting fifth at the moment, six seconds I think off the lead, so you know it is a long track, but it's quite a lot of uh, it's quite a lot of time to make up. So I decided not to race today, and it's pretty much down to the fact that the last few downhill races I've kind of been getting stiffer and stiffer, and not really enjoying it. I kind of wanted to feel that feeling when you wake up in the morning and you're excited to ride your bike and you're excited to go racing. This is definitely the hardest track on the circuit. It's so rough, and after qualifying yesterday. It's even rougher, like the holes are ridiculous, it's just so full on. Like I'm scared for tomorrow for racing because I don't know like if I can take it. It's gonna be like a war tomorrow. And I'm mad. Race 
it's done and dusted. I'm stoked to end up third. Absolutely stoked that Pom Pom won. She's such an impressive ride. I had a good run, like, pretty pretty awesome run to be fair, like, fastest of the weekend. It was tough, like, real tough track and it's glad to make it to the finish. I'm looking forward to this winter to get fully stuck in and just hit it hard, like, yeah, it's a pretty inspiring season. We just watched Rach come down, me and Sam Dale were like, damn, I'm glad I'm not riding down that. It looks so gnarly. Here we go. Watch this corner, man. Yeah. He's up by two, up by two. Crossed the finish line and went into the lead. A couple of riders later, I was knocked back to third place. From there, I took third on the day, third overall in the series. I'd like it to be. Very solid season, really. Kind of, um, obviously, after last year winning winning a few and um, taking the overall, it's hard to um, hard to take, but still solid, you know, third, third, third place in a season where the riding's been an unbelievable level, so, um, yeah, really happy. Obviously, not a bad season by any means, but, you know, at mid, midway point, I started to kind of lose the plot a little bit, you know, fall off, of, uh, fall off the rails and, you know, you can't afford to when everyone's going so hard. So I'm kind of, you know, stoked to come back with, an, with a third place overall, you know. After 2010, been pretty much just a battle between me and Greg. This year has been a, a lot more competition. You know, it's really been a year for a lot of young riders coming through. We've had Danny Hart, Brooke McDonald, and you know, of course, Aaron Gwynn as well. Been super dominant. You know, it's it's these youngsters that are pushing us on and you know, keeping us on our toes. And you know, the season's over now, but already I'm looking forward to next year, planning what I need to do, and, and getting ready for the next season. So I'm just preparing for an Enduro event in Sweden, which is happening the week after Val de Sol. Um, Enduro is pretty much, pretty much a downhill event, but it's, uh, it's basically a longer, a longer downhill. It's pretty much come around because this year, you know, my first, first year back from injury and I kind of feel like the level of downhill now is so high that every single run and every single race I'm kind of on the edge and, and really pushing it and I've kind of started to not really, not really enjoy riding downhill. 2012 my focus is definitely going to be on enduro downhill. I think I'll definitely still race World Cups, you know, I'm still going to ride Fort William and you know all the, all the tracks that I'm pumped to ride but yeah, enduro is going to be definitely my focus. I do get bored quite easily. I've switched from BMX to downhill to four cross to back to downhill and I think that's just who I am. I love to swap around and have new challenges to keep me focused. Ever since I started talking about starting to ride enduro, a lot of people seem excited about it. You know, a lot of the sponsors are kind of pumped that I'm doing it. It's, uh, it's hard to replicate a 15 minute downhill, you know. You're always gonna have to go back up a bit. Yeah, this place where we're riding now is uh, it's pretty good. Like, the downhill track's like four or five minutes long, and so you only have to throw in like a few, a few uphills here and there and to get it up to a 15 minute track. As long as I'm hard at it for, you know, a good time, then I think that's all right. Oro is usually a pretty quiet little resort, but uh, this week the uh, Mega Avalanche guys have come to town and kind of destroyed the peace and tranquility. Somehow I came across the line in, in first in qualifying and to be honest, that was, a, that was a surprise to me, you know. This is my first event and I was stoked to, to beat those guys and, at what they do, you know.
Race day morning is always a funny time, you know, you're just 100% focused on, on those two runs. This is quite a drawn out event, you know, you've got two 15 minute runs and a lot of preparation before the start. So as you can see, this is the view, or lack of. Tapes destroyed, blown everywhere, and it's gonna be a mess. You have to be at the start about an hour and a half before you run, and then you sat on the start line for another kind of half an hour. I really didn't know what to expect, what happens in a race like this. I think after my qualifying run and managing to beat all those guys, I was definitely kind of confident and in a way I felt my job was kind of done for the weekend because I knew where I was and that was the whole point to this race, to gauge where I was against those guys. The climbs and barely feel my legs and I had a massive crash, you know, because I was so tired, but I managed to come in third, which I was super stoked with, but, you know, then I had it all to do again. Second run's just done, and uh, got a punch up. It's going good till then, but damn! Heard my tire going down, that was it. For the first race, it's good to have a few excuses as to why you didn't do well. But I know in my heart of hearts that I can beat those guys, and you know, that's, that's racing, that's the most important thing. You have to believe that you can win.